Hello, and thanks for checking out ChartGuys.com. We're proud to be one of the most successful technical analysis communities online, teaching you the skills to become a more confident, effective, and informed trader. Join our community of hundreds of analysts worldwide working together to learn the charts, generate profit, and achieve financial independence. Sign up for a one-week free trial, no credit card required, for access to daily live chart analysis and market coverage, a thriving chat community, along with dozens of hours of exclusive educational materials. We look forward to seeing you. Let's check out some charts. Hey guys, it's James the Chart Guys. It is Thursday, August 3rd. I'm gonna do my nightly video on gold. So gold again has broken this weekly downtrend line. Back test is holding. You can see the long lower wick so far. Uh, we do have jobs numbers tomorrow and that could affect gold depending on the reaction. Something to keep in mind. The daily, uh, we had an inside candle initially broke bear, but held the ADMA back test. And you could see since this TCG bull cross, since we've gained the four and eight EMAs, um, it's, it's held this, it's, it hasn't even come close to losing the ADMA. And, and you could see it's held the four EMA the whole time as well. There hasn't been a single close below the four EMA. So again, this consolidation sideways on the daily is in favor of the bulls. And uh, we'll see if we are going to break higher or if we're going to break, start curling down and break uh, to the downside for further pullback based on jobs numbers and the reaction tomorrow. And what I'm really watching for on gold um, is either going to be a break of this, this recent high of 1280.30 and then of course to go after the, the most recent high here at uh, 1298.80. And again, really 1298.80 is, is what? A dollar and some change away from uh, 1300 level resistance and really want to see a $1,300 break on gold for the bulls and for the bears I'm just looking for a break of and a close below the ADMA gonna watch the support that we established today at 1262.90 with this long upper wick of bulls defending this dip and buying up the dip so that's going to be very interesting to watch tomorrow GDX same thing uh, Waiting for a TCG bear cross again where the 4 EMA crosses under the ADMA. We haven't had that yet with this TCG bull cross. We did break below the ADMA, but have held this TCG bull cross the whole way up. And the longer term, what I've been watching for is, I'll tell you what though, on the daily chart, we set this high, lower high, lower high, uh, lower high here. And breaking this lower high on the short term, it was a bull break by being able to set a higher high here. So we had a a high we had a higher high pulled back and setting higher highs but the weekly still has um, some room to go here to break the trend and again I'm looking at this re this resistance here at 2386 so we're still on the weekly we're still setting lower highs lower high lower high and so waiting for this to break at 2386 for a longer term trend uh, would like a nice TCG bull cross hold the 20 MA here on this back test on the weekly and then to break up above this 2386 uh, red flag if we break if we pull back and break below the recent low here of 2099 on the longer term and on the daily um, again still watching this consolidation recent low here at 2246 that we need to hold a 2246 is crucial if we break below 2246 i'm going to look for a further downside here on the senior miners gdxj it loads GDXJ on any consolidation here really want to hold a uh, low of 32.77 and we're pulling back here long upper wick at the peak here uh, of a, it's a, basically a reversal candle a red day here confirmed and had another red day today so something to keep in mind we are losing the 8 EMA here uh, on the daily so be careful here on the on the junior miners and Looking at this 20 MA support next, but again, looking at this consolidation, recent consolidation low of 32.77 that I wanted to hold. We want to consolidate above it. Uh, red flag if we lose this recent low of 32.24. That will change the trend on the daily. We've been setting higher lows on these pullbacks. So if we break below 32.24, that's going to be a red flag as we've broken the trend for the bears to take control on this daily trend. Have a good night and I'll see you tomorrow.